And we said, well, maybe the reason that money doesn't make us happy is that we're always spending it on the wrong things, and in particular that we're always spending it on ourselves. And we thought, I wonder what would happen if we made people spend more of their money on other people. So instead of being antisocial with your money, what if you were a little bit more pro-social with your money? And we thought, let's make people do it and see what happens. So let's have some people do what they usually do and spend money on themselves, and let's make some people give money away and measure their happiness and see if, in fact, they get happier. So the first way that we did this on uh, one uh, Vancouver morning, we went out on the campus uh, at University of British Columbia, and we approached people and said, do you want to be in an experiment? And they said yes. We, gave, we asked them how happy they were, and then we gave them an envelope. And one of the envelopes had things in it that said, by 5 p.m. today, spend this money on yourself. So when we gave some examples of what you could spend it on. Other people in the morning got a slip of paper that said by 5 p.m. today, spend this money on somebody else. Also inside the envelope was money, and we manipulated how much money we gave them. So some people got this slip of paper and five dollars, some people got this slip of paper and twenty dollars. We let them go about their day, they uh, did whatever they wanted to do. We found out that they did in fact spend it in the way that we asked them to. We called them up at night and asked them what you spend it on and how happy do you feel now? What did they spend it on? Well, these are college undergrads, so a lot of what they spent it on for themselves was things like earrings and makeup. One woman said she bought a stuffed animal for her niece. Uh, people gave money to homeless people. Huge effect here of uh, Starbucks. So <laughs> if you give undergraduates $5, it looks like coffee to them, and they run over to Starbucks and spend it as fast as they can. But some people bought a coffee for themselves the way they usually would, but other people said that they bought a coffee for somebody else. So the very same purchase just targeted toward yourself or targeted toward some, somebody else. What did we find when we called them back at the end of the day? People who spent money on other people got happier. People who spent money on themselves, nothing happened. It didn't make them less happy, it just didn't do much for them. And the other thing we saw is that the amount of money doesn't matter that much. So people thought that $20 would be way better than $5. In fact, it doesn't matter how much money you spent, what really matters is that you spent it on somebody else rather than on yourself.